I believe every single one of us has genius within us. I believe every single one of us has this brilliance longing to see the light of the day. I believe every single person on the planet has a mighty mission and is available to a, for a magnificent obsession in their own original way. Now is there an exact formula for this? Well, not exactly, but there are certain principles and disciplines and actions that anybody can do. And when they're combined in the right order, they add up to a success system that never fails. You can use these principles and disciplines to jumpstart your success and help you attract more of what you want in your life. Every day in your life, you got to weed the negative and you got to fertilize the positive. I think a winner is somebody who gets up every single day and fights the fight against doubt fights the fight against fear, fights the fight against laziness and procrastination, and forces themselves to do the work so that they can become a better person, so that they can see their dreams come true, and so that they can astonish themselves. If you're waking up every day and you're not taking steps to be the CEO of your own life and managing your day and running your own life, it's you're gonna be an employee, it's gonna run you back, and it will. And there's days I've woken up and gone through the motions and sure as death and taxes something comes up and because I wasn't in the right mindset it took control it ran my day live your best life attack the world enjoy the journey starting now from the day forward be changed and charge it Go out and make it happen every day. Get up and live, learn, love, and laugh. And go out and go for it. Seize your future. Seize your destiny. And live the life you deserve. You win at life when you do the work that makes you feel uncomfortable. We look at winners all the time. We celebrate our greatest heroes in business and in sports because of their outcomes. But the fact is, nobody stops and thinks about the fact that those champions, those winners, spent 10, 20, 30 years getting up day in and day out and doing the work. So a winner is somebody that wakes up every morning, pushes themselves out that bed, and does the work to become a better person. You gotta get up early. You gotta make a list. You gotta show up with a great attitude, and you gotta get it done. Getting up in the morning and setting your priorities is very important. If you don't fill your day with high priority things that mean everything to you, that inspire you, your life will fill up with low priority distractions that don't. You gotta give yourself permission to be the most magnificent you you can possibly be. I wonder what would happen if you sat down and actually prioritized your life every day, and then went after the most important things and filled your day that way. And every day if you wake up and you don't take control of your day and you don't dominate the day as best you can start to finish, life is gonna own you. You know, if you're waking up with a negative attitude, you have to be able to step back and self-assess, why am I in a bad mood? And you have to work from that minute forward to build that tool in your belt, if you will, to be able to assess it, address it, apply it, if you will, and then move forward. If you can do that, life gets exponentially easier and easier and easier every day. And before you know it, you're working with greater efficiency, more confidence, more determination, and you set yourself on a path to truly self-generate success. But more importantly, you're happy. I have a simple exercise I give everybody, and some people say, oh, that's so stupid, it's so silly. But I ask them to look in the mirror, especially first thing in the morning, and just look in their eyes and say their name and say, I love you. I really, really love you. And this is enormously hard for most people to do to begin with. But as you continue to do it, it makes a big difference. You see, life loves you. Life really loves you. But if you don't love yourself, it's very hard for life to bring you the goodies because you've got this wall up. What I do every day, the fact that it makes me mentally stronger, um, the fact that I, I literally push myself to the point of, you know, being physically ill, 
when you do that, when you're, when you're starting your day at 4.30 in the morning, whatever, do that, the rest of your day, no matter what happens, is a breeze. You've, t- you've tackled the hardest part of your day. No matter what goes on, you have the confidence and, and you have the, the wherewithal, the tool belt, if you will, to be able to attack. Sometimes it's just showing up and being able to push yourself a little bit more than yesterday. If you're not happy today, start acting happy. Act the way you want to feel, and soon you'll feel the way you act. Go out and make it happen in your life. Why not do what you really love every day? I don't mean necessarily the things that are small little things. I'm talking about giving yourself permission to make the difference that you want in life and do the things that are service to others as well as rewarding to you. So we we live in a world that we want to be as comfortable as we can. And we wonder why we have no growth. We, We wonder why when the smallest thing in our life gets difficult, we wonder why we cower and we run away. Because we are kind of living our I mean, our whole life is set up that way. Our whole life is set, set up in, in the path of least resistance. We don't want to suffer. We don't want to feel discomfort. So the whole time, we're living our lives in a very comfortable area. There's no growth in that. I'm not able to change your life, but you certainly are. And I have found that it's ideas that literally change everything in our life. In life, you should only ever be doing one of two things, and that is figuring out what you're most passionate about, like finding your dreams in life, and then two, realizing those passions, realizing those dreams. And the first one is much harder than the second one. If you know what you want to do, no big deal. You just commit your entire life to doing it, and you'll either get really close or you'll die trying. So what I would challenge this young man or or, or young woman to do is you have to look inside of yourself and see what you really want. What what are you passionate about? We use these words and these little phrases of only the strong survive and all this other crap. They're all just fucking words. I get so tired of hearing people just talking. Like right now, someone may think Gaga is just talking. (laughs) You don't know me. So when I speak, I speak from passion. I speak from experience. I, I, I speak from suffering. I have to tell this young man or woman that the only way I believe, this is just my experience in life, the only way you're ever going to get to the other side of this journey is you have got to suffer, to grow. To grow, you must suffer. You can become the kind of person that is so in tune with the values that you have and what you actually want, that when feelings rise up, you can choose to act However you want, despite them. Even if you're tired, you can still go to the gym. Even if you're annoyed with your spouse, you can still speak in a manner that's loving. Even if you don't feel like doing that hard work, you can still push yourself to do it. Your feelings aren't a choice. Your behavior and your thoughts are always a choice. Several people live to be 100 years old, and they have great lives, and they have great kids, their kids go to college and all sorts of stuff. But somewhere in their life, There was a point where they had a decision to make. They can go left or right on this path. Left was the easy route. Right was the hard route. A lot of people take the easy route. And they had a good life that way, but the better life was going to the right side. And you may have 20 years of pain and suffering to get past it, but a lot of us die never truly starting our journey. And I would tell this young person, you gotta start your journey, it may suck. But it will, it will come out the other side where you're coasting. Many people are suffering from battle fatigue. They've been standing a long time, trying to break the addiction, believing for the promotion, praying for that family member, but hasn't happened yet. They never dreamed they'd still be single, still be dealing with the illness, still be trying to get the loan. Now they're tired. Let me encourage you, your time is coming. Your due season is on the way. Don't let time talk you out of it. Don't let discouragement cause you to give up. Don't let negative thoughts convince you to settle where you are. 
You were born to succeed, to win, to conquer all difficulties, and have all your faculties fully developed. The only thing in life that stands between you and everything you've ever wanted to do is doing it. All that stood between me and everything I've ever wanted to do in life was doing it. You have to trust your own voice, your own ideas, your honesty, your vulnerability, and through this you will find your way. You do not have to be fearless. Just don't let fear stop you. Live like this as best you can, and I guarantee you will look back on a life well lived. You are capable of greatness in your profession, and more importantly, in your quality of self. Stay hungry. Stay young at heart. Take those risks. You are going to change the world around you in big ways and in small. If we want to go somewhere, you got to do it. One of the great secrets in life to becoming successful, whether it's in a business, whether it's working with someone or for someone or in your own personal life, is be prepared in life for a lot of rejection. Because if you're prepared for a lot of rejection, it comes, you don't get turned off, you don't get disappointed, like, well, I'm not gonna do this anymore, no one thinks it's a good idea. We need trust, right? We need trust. When we're surrounded by people who believe what we believe and trust starts to emerge, when we trust them and they trust us, we're more willing to take risks. We're more willing to experiment, which requires failure. We're more willing to explore and go somewhere that no one has ever gone before with the confidence that if we fail, if we trip over, if we turn our backs, that those within our community, those who we trust and who trust us, will look after us while we're gone, will pick us up when we fall over, will help us when we're hurt. Our very survival depends on it. Courage, someone who has, is, 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 has, the, has the courage no matter what to um, believe in something, hold heartily and follow that with faith and courage to just go and, and if I was able to do it, you can too, you know, and you, but you need to start making that choice. You need to make that choice right now for yourself. There are people who have lost their arms, who have lost their sight. There have been people that have been through the most horrific experiences in life and they found a way to still be happy because they've made the decision that life is too short to suffer. So many of you are waiting to be picked by who? Are you making the most of your life? And the answer is yes, if you pay attention to what you do in five second windows. And so all you need to know to change anything is A, you're never gonna feel like it. You're never gonna feel ready to start that business. You're never gonna feel ready to have that hard conversation. You're never gonna feel like getting out of bed. You're never gonna feel like it's a good idea to apply for that promotion. We're designed to stay comfortable and safe. So if you know that you're A, never going to feel like it, and B, that no one's coming, it's up to you. You're not a kid anymore. I have some bad habits. All my habits are not great. So if you've got some bad habits, don't feel bad. So does your next door neighbor. So does your mentor, your coach. So does your mother and father if they're alive. So does everyone. And the trick of life is to replace a bad habit with a good habit. Make up your mind you're going to do it every day, every day, every day. Until you don't have to think about it, and then you'll automatically do it. I guarantee you, this idea will change your life. Think about it all day, because that is definitely an idea that will give you results that will stick. No matter who you are, no matter where you are in life, you can take the lid off of your job. If you're wondering if you still have the lid on in your life, here are some clues that's gonna let you know that the lid is still on. If you're not excited about waking up in the morning, if you're sitting around bored out of your mind, if you got time to do everything anybody asks you to do, you probably got the lid on. If when you tell your dreams to all your friends, it makes sense to them, 
You got your lid on, man. Your dreams should be, should not make sense to everybody. You got to say something that make people go, how you going to do that? That's when you got the lid off. And if I were you, I'd do that. I'd take the lid off. It's not always going to be easy. There are going to be challenges. There's still going to be curveballs thrown at me. But I, I, I can't become uh, introverted. I, I, I have to continue to get outside myself because when you're uncomfortable, that's the only way you're going to grow. So the only way I became successful was going towards the truth. As painful and as brutal as it is, it changed me. It, it allowed me to become, in my own right, who I am today. You face your fears, you become the person you want to be. You run from your fears, you're not living. You're alive, but you're not thinking the freedom. You're not running the day. The day's running the servant, not the master, guys. We have the ability to go in such a space. If you're willing to suffer, and I mean suffer, your brain and your body, once connected together, can do anything. We all fall down in life, guys. The question is, who gets back up? Again, it's not the potential of the individual. It's not the genetics. It's a perseverance, the never say die attitude. If you constantly keep throwing shit against the wall, eventually something will stick, guys. Never give in to what you want. I am where I am, and only I can change it. I want you to burn into your nervous system the following statement, because it is a fundamental truth of the human condition. It is literally the baseline physics of what it means to be a person. As Earl Nightingale said, we become what we think about. And that's an idea that I want you to hold firmly in your mind. That's something that I really want you to internalize. I really want you to stop right now, whatever you're doing, I want you to stop, lean into this video and listen to what I'm saying. You will become what you think about. Really think about that for a second, as if it wasn't just a phrase, as if it's more than just words, as if it were a truth about how the brain works, because it is. You're going to become the thing that you think about. And I know that you're dwelling on a lot of negative shit. I know that you're carrying a lot of baggage with you. And I know that as you think about how things might go wrong, that you believe, you believe to the core of your being that you're just planning for the hard times, but the truth is you're going to become those things that you fear. You're going to become the things that you dread. If you're thinking about all the things that you've done wrong in the past, you are going to simply continue that cycle. But if on the other hand, and let this be true, let this ring in your ears with the weight of everything that I carry. If I've ever added an ounce of value to you, if anything I have ever said has seemed remotely true, believe that these are the most important words I'm ever going to say to you. If you begin to focus on positive things, if you begin to focus on your capabilities, if you begin to focus on the potential that you have, if you really dig in, build those skills, drive towards something beautiful, something amazing, something that leaves you in awe that you want to create, that you want to become the vessel for that, then you will. You will become that thing because you will take those steps because you become what you think about. And as Mark Twain said, 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed by the things that you didn't do. So if you don't take those steps, if you don't focus on those things, if you don't manifest what you want to become, if you don't believe in it, if you don't see how real it could be, if you can't picture the version of yourself that you want to become, and even though people have told you that it's not possible for you, that the things you did in the past are never going to allow you to do that, that you're not smart enough, if you let that creep into your mind, then that's what's gonna happen. But if you can see that vision, if you can allow yourself to believe it, then you're going to take the steps that you need to execute against that. And if you go out there and do those things, you won't regret it, but you will regret it if you don't. So get out right now and build the person you wanna be so you can have the life you wanna have.
A lot of people always asking themselves, what can I do to be happy? Do everything you can to set up habits and take care of your mind in such a way that you generate more happiness. No matter who you are, what walk of life you're in, number one, you have to own your own happiness. Uh, take it away from other people demanding that they make you happy. Happy, beautiful people. You've heard it, right? You're, we're to be vibrant people. We're to be happy people. We're to be joyous people. But that doesn't happen by itself. What we have to do is we have to try. And the reason we have to try is because life gets in the way. All of us have within us this amazing capacity to manifest and attract anything that we want into our life. You're a seed. You are full of gifts, talents, potential. But if you plant yourself in unhealthy soil, if you hang around friends that compromise, and pull you down, if you're in an environment that's limited with people that tell you what you can't become, you won't see the growth that you should. You are love. You are divine. Put that into your imagination. I am, I am well. I am happy. I am content. I am fulfilled. Even if your senses tell you that you're depressed. I have the power. I have the power to make this happen. I have the power to create this. I have the power to attract this. I have the power to save my relationship. I have the power to build an unstoppable business that serves people all over the world. I have the power to write my next book or my first book. So by placing into your imagination what you want and assuming the feeling of that wish is already fulfilled, you go through your life feeling that. When enough of us do that, we will, we will transform this planet. I'm telling you, it, it can be done. When you know you can, you escape the prison of limiting beliefs. When you know you can, you reclaim your power, your joy, and your freedom. As you free yourself from the prison of limiting beliefs by choosing empowering beliefs, you truly can be and do and have whatever you desire. Your personality creates your personal reality. That's it. It's that simple. And your personality is made up of how you think, how you act, and how you feel. What you think and what you believe is what will come true for you. Your thoughts create your life. It's that simple. And when we can get that, we can make enormous changes. You're not supposed to go around solemn, serious all the time, burdened down by problems, taking time to laugh, to have fun. That re-energizes you. It helps keep you in balance. If it's all work, all stress, all dealing with problems, that's going to weigh you down. You need to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your families. You have to start giving the vocabulary of happy to your teams. But too often, we used to laugh when we were dating. We used to have fun. We used to enjoy each other. But now we've let the pressures of life cause us to become more solemn. We don't have time to laugh. We have bills to pay. We have children to raise. We're dealing with problems. We don't see eye to eye on every situation, but the joy is what's going to help you get through the tough times. Laughing together, having fun, that's going to help keep you together. You have a life that's better than 95% of the people on this planet. Most of the people on this planet do not have the luxury that you have right now to watch somebody on a video on YouTube and be able to benefit from that and receive information that could actually improve and better your life. Most people don't have that luxury. Most people do not have a freaking computer and the internet where you can have access to this. Most people don't have the chair, the, 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 the roof that you have over your head right now. Too many of you 
are sitting around waiting to feel ready. You can still move forward when you're not ready. Too many of you are waiting to feel like you deserve to make six figures. It's about the action. Your mind, your history, your past, you will always have a million excuses not to do it, not to feel like it, not to believe in yourself. You are a master creator, constantly creating your life in exact accord with your thoughts and feelings. You are an external being worthy of anything and everything you desire. If you wanted to create a new personal reality, that on a fundamental level you would have to change the thoughts that you are thinking, the behaviors and habits that you're demonstrating, and the emotions that you've memorized that's become part of your identity. And most people try to create a new personal reality as the same personality, and it never works. We have to become somebody else. Did you live your life? Not someone else's life, not the parent's life, not your spouse's life, not your team's life, not your obligation's life. Did you live your life? Because you got one shot at it, so did you show up and do well? Friends, don't let one disappointment, one loss, one bad break cause you to settle. We all go through things we don't understand. Life doesn't always make sense. The key is you have to pass through the place of your greatest pain. If you get knocked down, bounce up. If somebody next to you gets knocked down, help them up. Look inside yourself and find that desire. Go win big. And because we're always looking back, reliving the negative, we end up carrying around all this baggage that weighs us down. One of the best things we can learn to do is drop it, let it go. The best part of your life is right up in front of you. It's a beautiful day while you're singing, nothing matters to you. The smile is on and the worries are gone. You have within you what it'll take for you to go do something great in your life. But you got to get yourself in a positive cocoon where you make some fundamental decisions in your life. You're a force of nature. You're somebody great. You were put on this earth to make a difference. And I'm telling you that the way that you were made, the way that you are now, is beautiful or handsome. And that you're enough. And that once you can finally acknowledge the fact that you're enough, that you're beautiful and gifted and special and made in the image of this higher place, right? That once you can acknowledge that, you're going to be very, very happy. All your confidence, all your happiness, all the things you want to achieve in your life come from when you understand that you are made perfect the way you are. doesn't mean we don't want to improve things in our life and chase the next version of us and all that, but the you that exists now is enough, and that you have everything within you right now to make your dreams happen, to be happy. Seize the moment, and enjoy the moment, minister in the moment, do it now. D don't, don't somehow think that tomorrow is going to, to be the time when you go. I walk on the street. All people are passing by, it's a great day Nobody even cares that I've got a big smile on my side I talk to myself, is it true that we all must cry? Cause a great day, you shouldn't even care Cause you have a big smile on your side, on your side. It's a beautiful day while you're singing Nothing matters to you the smile is on, and the worries are gone. Beautiful day while you're singing, nothing matters to you. The smile is on, and the worries are gone. First thing in the morning and last thing in the evening, I want you to look into your eyes and say, I love you. I really love you and I accept you exactly as you are. It can be tough at first, 
But if you stick with it, in a short time, this affirmation will be true for you. We even have to remove at some point, sometimes, our own stupid thoughts, our own bad actions, our own poor habits. And we have to start with the fact that whether you call it the universe, luck, chance, God, evolution, spirit, whatever you call it, you've been blessed with breath. That you are alive right now, the odds of that is so extraordinarily rare that I really believe loving ourselves starts from a place of reverence for life. This is a good day. This is a new beginning. Oh